Hi everyone, I'm assuming you have completed problem one. I want to show you one thing that you might need to fix about your implementation and another way to improve the efficiency of your implementation. So go to your stock data class and double check your load data from file method. Make sure that the numbers you're reading are getting assigned to the variables with the right meaning. So here's what I mean. If I look at right now, uh, the first number I'm assigning to opening and the second number I'm assigning to closing. If you actually look at the file itself, the first number is opening, but the second number is actually the high value for the day, not the closing value. So you're parsing each line and you're reading the values one at a time, but you've got to make sure that you assign them into the variables that are in that order, open, high, low, close. So this should be open, this one should be high, this should be low, this should be closing. Okay, so that's item number one. Item number two is the efficiency of your stock data class. So here is my get lowest low method. This runs in linear time in the number of records that I have. If I have n records, I've got to search through each record to find the one with the lowest low, and that's going to require, in the worst case, um, on the order of n steps. So what I'd like you to do is make all of your methods run in constant time. So what we should be able to do is something like this. When they ask for the lowest low, I should just be able to return it straight like that. Because if I could do this, then that would be running in constant time because I just returned this one step. How do you do this? Well, we have to be calculating this value as we're adding new records. So let's do this. Uh, here at stock, in the top of stock data, I'm going to create a stock record object called lowest low. And well, I guess I don't need to initialize it to null because it's null already. And then here is where I'm going to return lowest low. All right, well, how will lowest low get its value? Right now, when we create each stock record, we just add it directly to our array list. Instead of directly adding it to our array list, let's, let's do this. Let's make an add record method to our own class. And when I create that method, I'll want to do a couple of things. I'll do what I did before, so I still want to take my record and add it to my array list of records. But at the same time, I want to see, is this new record that I'm adding to my whole stock data class, is this new record uh, a record that has a lower low than my lowest low record so far? So I'm doing the same test that I would be doing if I already had all my records, only now I'm going to do it each time I add a new record. Oops, I've lost my place. Where'd it go? Highest high, lowest low, get thing, add record. Here we are. So in other words, this is the new record that I'm adding. I want to know if it's true that my record's low value, the new one, is smaller than the lowest low's low value. Because if that's true, then this is actually the new lowest low. And in that case, I would want to say lowest low equals record. Um, notice that this runs in constant time as well, because I'm not looping through a whole bunch of records. I'm just checking the new one against the existing one. So I haven't really made my add record method um, run in a different time class. It's still running in constant time. But now I'm actually able to keep my lowest low record up to date. And that means that when anybody asks for it, it should give the same value. So just by making that simple change, I've made this method go from uh, big O of n to big O of 1. It's gone from linear time to constant time, which is a really great improvement. So what I would like you to do now is make all of those same improvements. 